Today I have with me Gail, and we will be discussing her lecture on learning as a growth process. What do you believe that the audience will gain from the lecture? Um, I believe that they will learn how to increase their skills and knowledge as therapists and to educate and enhance the growth into the occupational therapy profession. What do you believe are the most influential topics of the lecture? Um, I think that the most influential topics would be self-awareness, open-mindedness to new knowledge, collaboration, and interpersonal relationships. How does this apply to someone who's pursuing a career in occupational therapy? Because of the continuing expansion in the medical field, patients and clients are entitled to receive the best form of care possible, and for the medical team to members to be aware of new and innovative changes within their field of work, Occupational therapists, as well as other healthcare professionals, are responsible for continuing their research and enhance their knowledge within their practice. In this lecture, I touch base on the definition of the scope of practice, roles and responsibilities of the profession, and the expansion of the scope, and many other topics that I think people are pursuing a career in occupational therapy and those that are already in the field can relate to. What, are, what events were occurring during the time of your lecture? And how do you think that they impacted your motives for this lecture? There were many movements of empowerment, protests going on. America was in the Vietnam War. Women and African Americans were fighting for their voice. And the world was growing in technology and research. I think that a combination of all these events really impacted my motives of the lecture. We, as a profession, were defining our practice as well as our role in the healthcare field at the time. And I felt empowered to talk about the matters that occupational therapy as a whole had been trying to inform others about. What circumstances or condition was the profession in at this time, and how were ideas considered in the lecture? So at this time, occupational therapy was finally defined as a medical profession in the healthcare system. The Medicare and Medicaid program was developed, and the American Occupational Therapy Foundation wanted to expand public knowledge of the profession and the scope of the practice. The goals of the AOTA during the time were to increase communication, participation, and interest among schools, students, and occupational therapy. The goals of the association impacted my motives of the lecture as it guided and encouraged the topics that I thought were necessary. Were, um, need to be focused on. The topic and structure that I had for the lecture coincided with the core values and goals of the association at the time. Um, through the paradigm shift, the roles and responsibilities of occupational therapists were changing as well as knowledge and skills. Individual components of the patient client are evaluated and understood in regards to how they impact the outcomes of therapy interventions. What was the goal of your lecture, and how do you think that this will apply to your audience? My goal was to place more emphasis not only on the importance of collaboration, but also on growth as healthcare professionals within and beyond their field of work by discussing the different types of relationships and how they interact. Uh, by discussing these key points, it also it allows us to be open-minded and advance in theory and practice. How do your goals on the emphasis of collaboration influence the profession short-term and long-term? Well, a majority of the population has placed stigma on the interprofessional collaboration, you know, getting a second opinion. Healthcare team members should be educating their patients on how collaboration does not mean an individual lacks knowledge. However, exchanging practices can be beneficial to their health and their therapy interventions. I think that it can influence therapy short-term as a current treatment plan pertaining to accomplishments or struggles of the week that can be altered or influenced by personal events and collaboration with other professionals regarding alterations for the week. And long-term goals can be influenced by collaborating with other professionals regarding a treatment plan pertaining to the overall desired outcome of the therapy. How do you believe therapists and students can relate to this lecture's content? So we are in a profession that is constantly evolving as therapists, we succeed together by focusing on the importance of collaboration and applying that to our everyday practice. All the information that we gather in this profession is constantly being built up upon a new foundation while interpreting our core values and beliefs of the profession. Occupational therapy is an ongoing practice that is continually advancing and growing, 
So the topics of this lecture relate to those entering the profession as well as those currently in it. Well, thank you so much, Gail, for coming in today. We truly appreciated having you. Thank you.